so this is my first class on solid state physics and in this class i am going to discuss the crystal structure that is the preliminary idea of what the crystal is how the crystal can be uh, classified and uh, some part of its uh, translation vector and obviously the unit cell okay so let us uh, start with the material of this uh, as we found in our surroundings as a matter of fact I can say that the matter that is consist of one or more element as the as I can say the matter is made up of molecules if you just try to break it up and ultimately you go to the elementary atomic level then to the uh, and you go down and down you can find some electrons nucleus etc but the basic combination of a matter is obviously the composition or the combination of several molecules in a tight binding state right so depending on this binding property among the molecules matter basically classified into three categories as I write here the matter is broadly classified into solid liquid and obviously gaseous state there exists another that is the fourth form of matter which is called plasma but uh, that is not uh, our in, uh, interesting uh, topping for this or that is not uh, much more important for this uh, discussion so I uh, leave it out so in case of solid what happens as you all know that the molecules they are very close to each other and they have much more intermolecular force which binds this solid together in case of liquid this molecular interaction or the intermolecular interaction that are much less than that of solid but that is much more than that of a gaseous state so in terms of molecular interaction or in terms of attraction of the molecule intermolecular attraction gaseous state have least amount of interaction ideal gaseous in ideal gas I can say that the interaction is nearly zero but in case of liquid this interaction is much more but this liquid and glacier state combinedly called the fluid it can flow from one part of a system to the another part of that particular system so they can flow from one point to another point but the solid as it has got a much more uh, tightly wound state that have a greater amount of attraction and it has a definite shape and size but this solid also classified into two categories depending on the behavior of these solids particularly 
depending on their physical property these solids can be classified into crystalline state and amorphous or non crystalline state we are not interested for amorphous state but I have to tell a little bit about the amorphous state now uh, what a crystalline state is I come to this part later but uh, what a crystalline state is the crystalline state of a solid is mainly characterized by a regular mind it a regular periodic arrangement of atoms or molecules most of the solids in nature are found in crystalline state due to the reason that the energy released during the formation of an order structure is more than that released during the formation of a disorder structure so the formation of order structure is more likely to be thus the crystalline state is a low energy state and is much more preferable for a solid right so most of this solid are found in nature in crystalline form <coughs> now as I <coughs> define the crystalline state as a solid that is a solid state and it is composed of a single atom or a group of atom or a molecule or a ion that are arranged in a periodic manner in three dimension the very uh, a good example of this crystalline state is uh, our common salt sodium chloride and obviously quartz they are all crystalline form now what happens in amorphous state what we can say that the molecules in the amorphous state or non crystalline state that are characterized by a random arrangement of solid okay now if this molecule or atom or a group of molecules that are arranged in a solid in a random fashion on the other hand if there exists some short range of ordering in case of crystalline state there is a long range ordering obviously that is very important long range ordering because this arrangement of group of molecules or single molecule or atom runs up to the uh, a very long extent but in case of amorphous material if this ordering is very small or the interior arrangement is not regular then these are called amorphous now as I mentioned so in case of crystalline state there exists the periodicity okay and that this periodicity extend up to a distance of the order of macroscopic level few millimeter few centimeter or rather I can say few uh, uh, feet so these types of ordering are present in case of crystal but if in case of amorphous material this periodicity extend up to few atomic dimensions only right so that if the uh, arrangement runs to a few atomic dimension then I must call that state to be 
a amorphous state so such type of material amorphous material they are form how they are form say for example you are going to construct a crystal so there are numerous process of uh, formation of crystal sub, uh, sublimation is one of them now you want to grow a crystal and you do not give sufficient amount of time for that particular material which it requires to form a crystal then those materials become amorphous so you are not providing enough amount of time to form the crystal becomes an amorphous right so the material which are amorphous are basically plastics polyethylene rubber they are glass they are all amorphous material now the physical property or the geometrical forms that obviously depend on this kind of periodic arrangement how the atom arrange in a crystal system that ultimately determines the physical and chemical property of that material so the physical and chemical property highly depend on this crystal structure okay or the in the crystalline solid now study of those physical and chemical structure is called a crystallography right so we have learned what a crystalline state is what a crystalline state called what the amorphous state is and how this amorphous state are formed how this crystalline state are formed now crystalline state can be classified broadly into two part one is single crystal and that is power crystal i come to this part in a later section now in liquid and gas there is no longer essential periodic arrangement there now what is a crystal i have defined in the first section that is periodic arrangement now the periodic arrangement in three dimension or the periodic arrangement of atom or molecules in three dimensional space called the crystal and this periodic arrangement must be anisotropic so anisotropy is a basic property of crystalline solid crystalline solid become anisotropic because all the property are not same in every direction that is anisotropy now <coughs> how can you define when it is crystal then there must have some repetitive units the repetition of all the constitute molecule or atoms in the crystal form the crystal now a set of three coplanar vector that defines a unit cell of the crystal right this the repetition of this unit cell ultimately form the total crystal system and the crystal which i am going to construct that can have a replicate structure of this unit cell right now as i mentioned i have called little bit about this crystalline and amorphous state now is there any difference between these two state or how can you define how can you uh, uh, differ this two state what or what are the physical or chemical properties that are basically different in these two state now come to this term 
what are the properties of crystalline material as the crystalline state is a periodic repetition of atoms or molecules and it has a periodic arrangement up to a long order it has got a definite shape and size and as I mentioned here some of the crystal are the replica of its own unit cell so it must have a definite shape and size second as the arrangement is periodic so it must possess a fixed melting point right so melting point is fixed the third one is crystal is anisotropic so anisotropy is a basic property of a crystal you don't have the same chemical physical property along the three different direction a same but if you are going to microscopic level and you are try to calculate what are the strength of all bonds that is the strength between the uh, at molecular or atomic interaction the strength of all bond between two distinct atom are same always the composition which is the chemical composition that is uniform and as it has got a specific amount of energy to form the crystalline material so it has a definite color now come to the properties of an isotropic material which is which must be different from the crystalline state anisotropic material don't have any definite shape but it has got isotropic property the anisotropic material do not have a fixed melting point which the crystalline system have it does not possess any fixed melting point and the chemical composition is not uniform as the chemical composition is not uniform and it is not periodic so the bond between two distinct atom vary throughout the structure so these are the basic difference between a crystalline material and a amorphous material now as this is the basic course of crystal structure or the first class of crystal structure now you have to learn something about the features of a crystal what are the features if you have a crystal in your hand you can see that it has got a specific structure and the crystal they are bound by some flat surface and those flat surfaces are called the faces but it as the crystal is anisotropic all faces may not be alike may be alike may not be alike now the come uh, now come to the point form now the form is that all faces if you combine together all faces of a crystal system this combination is called the form how crystal look like if you combine all the faces under the same structural uh, framework now the if the crystal have alike faces or the crystal have same type of faces then these are called simple form and if it has got different faces 
it is called the combined form. Now the intersection of two adjacent faces that generates the age of the crystal. So there must be some relation between these three terms. Steno provide a law that a crystal if it has f number of faces, a number of angles, and e number of ages, then f plus c equal to e plus 2. So the number of faces plus number of angles equal to number of ages plus 2. These are, this law is valid for all types of crystal. Now, as I mentioned in the earlier form, earlier uh, slide that the crystal may be subdivided into two categories one is uh, single crystal and another is powder crystal or polycrystalline material right so what is a single crystal okay now the single crystal is a type of crystal where this periodicity of atom extend throughout the material like diamond or the quartz. In those materials this periodicity extend up to throughout the volume. But in case of powder crystal, the crystallites are oriented randomly, though there is periodicity. There is periodicity, but the orientation is random. And these orientation are separated by some grain boundary. There are so many organic materials that can have this powder form right so if you look at the form of this crystal look at the first picture here here if you go throughout the crystal system you can find that this repetitive units repeat itself throughout the whole volume of this crystal. Then these are called single crystal. Now if you look at the second picture here, if you define a grain boundary, the orientation of this materials are different. Though there is periodicity. So these are basically the powder crystal. So here is the difference between single and powder. So now these are uh, in the left hand side I can give you a picture of single crystal and on the right hand side the picture of a powder crystal so if you grind it together it looks like this now these are the uh, a pictorial description of a uh, left is quinur and obviously at right hand side you see this is graphite one is glitter and another looks black but the fact is that both this kohinoor and graphite are made up of same material that is carbon yet as there might be some structural variation not might be must uh, be some structural variation so one is looks brighter under the light and another is black. So ultimately from this point of view I can say that depending on 
the structural uh, features or depending on the structural arrangement of atoms and molecules the substance made up of same material can behave in different way or their physical appearance becomes different now as i mentioned that crystal is a periodic arrangement of atoms or a group of atom or a molecule so we must know how this uh, arrangement how this arrangement are in this in the three dimensional space so from this point of view i have to introduce a term that is crystal lattice or space lattice so before describing the arrangement of atom or crystal it is obviously very convenient to describe the arrangement of some imaginary points okay or some array of points that are complete arrangement of the repetitive units that are basically form a crystal right so the set of imaginary point forms a framework which is actually the base of this crystal structure which is which i call the lattice right so these points are periodically arranged in the three dimensional space so let us consider this picture first those yellow dots they are arranged in at the corner of a cube in a regular manner now that is a smallest element where i can found a aperiodic structure if you go beyond this you cannot find any period periodicity but if you arrange this structure this part into three dimensional space how does it look like so take a single cube here now put another cube at the right hand side put another cube then another and another another in this way you just put some of the cube here there what you get you get a grid like structure but now this structure in left hand side all the yellow particle they are basically same okay and at the left hand side what you find that these are the smallest repetitive unit of this right hand side grid like structure so these are the smallest unit beyond which or below which i cannot find any kind of periodicity but if you make a framework in this in here you can find that this particular element combined together to form a periodic arrangement so this is the crystal structure and the smallest unit whose repetition ultimately produce this crystal structure defines the unit cell fine so this but this need not always be the case how a set of points arranged in a space so that the point have identical surrounding choose any point here okay take this two point one is red circle another is just uh, a blue circle a sky blue circle if you 
stay at the center of this circle and you are trying to walk around in any direction you can find that you get ultimately some atoms at some different distance now you shift from this point to this the center of this point or center of the circle and you are trying to walk around in similar direction you can find the same repetitive unit or the identical surrounding so i can define a lattice in such a way that a set of points that are so arranged in a space in three dimensional space so that each and every point has identical surrounding right then the identical surrounding what does it mean it means that when viewed in a particular direction from one lattice you can find that the appearance of that particular uh, appearance of uh, any other points from that particular point in any particular direction are same so ultimately these are the crystal lattice okay so crystal lattice is some imaginary point that are being arranged in a regular fashion in a crystal now what are the basis you are assume some points some repetitive points in three dimensional space and you get a crystal structure now the basis is defined the particular cluster of atoms or ions that are basically situated at any particular lattice point so in the previous picture if you choose this point and you put a yellow ball here you put another yellow ball here here at any this point of these corners so if all corners are filled with this yellow ball you can find that this yellow ball is basically the basis of the crystal system and these points the arrangement of this point is base lattice so in another way i can say that the basis is defined as a cluster of atoms or ions or molecules but those cluster of atoms ion and molecule must have same identical composition their arrangement and orientation and obviously the repetition of this cluster that ultimately form a crystal structure so i can say that a lattice and a basis ultimately form a crystal structure so this is the two dimensional lattice point like a a net like structure and if you add some basis so these are the basis point and ultimately what you get you get a crystal structure so this is 2d crystal structure so ultimately lattice plus basis is equivalent to crystal structure now in two dimensional uh space you can find that there is five number of lattices so there are uh, five number of uh, five lattices they are actually oblique where no internal symmetry are present second it is maybe rectangular and if you point out the angle between two uh side is gamma then a not equal to b and gamma equal to 90 degree these are the rectangular bases and a special case of rectangle when a equal to b and gamma equal to 90 degree 
that becomes a square and uh, in this rectangular uh, particular rectangular system if you choose a central point here and put some particular uh, atom here or the lattice point here you can get the center rectangular system where a equal to b gamma equal to 90 degree the same thing we can choose which is obviously non-primitive but if you choose this rhombus type structure you get a again central rectangular system where gamma equal to 120 degree okay now another one is hexagonal so this five types of lattice we are found in two dimensional system in three dimensional system there are seven crystal system among them four types of basic unit cell which is simple another is body centered face centered and base centered so all together if you use this four types of unit cell and combine these four types of unit cell with seven type of crystal system and keep in mind that your symmetry of or the repetitive unit remains as it is you can find total 14 number of Bravis lattice okay so there are 14 types of Bravis lattice they are grouped for seven crystal system now this lattices are the ultimately the skeleton of solid on which this crystal or the atomic structures are built in now what are the unit cell that is the smallest repetitive unit choose this point any arbitrary three vector a b c that are formed a parallel pipe so this parallel pipe have no definite uh, uh, relation between them and if you repeat this this will gives you the whole structure so what I should say that a total three non coplanar vector ABC a non coplanar vector and this non coplanar vector must follow the right handed screw rule okay and as this vectors are following right handed screw rule they are required a full description of three dimensional lattice or these are the building blocks of the crystal system so these are unit cell in this figure you can find that this vector coincide with three independent edges okay if you look at this parallel pipe these three vectors are basically three independent edges so these three independent edges are ultimately the cope uh, three vectors of crystal system or I can say these three non coplanar vector are the lattice parameter now the unit cell can be ultimately defined by these three non coplanar vector which I should say the lattice parameter and obviously the relative orientation of this three vector with each other and the orientation is defined by three angles alpha beta and gamma so the first three parameters uh, that represent ultimately the cell length unit cell length and the last three parameter this represent the angle between any two of them now what are the money how can you uh, define the uh, repetition in a crystal system so 
you learn about the lattice you learn about the basis you learn about the crystal system but what I should get from this point that how could you go from one point to another point so we must have to define any three-dimensional lattice vectors to define a unit cell but this three vector does not only define a unit cell but it gives you the concept of translation in the lattice okay so if you want to go from any point to another point you need three basis vector or three unit cell parameters a b c and obviously other three coefficient u v and w based on the combination of them we can find any vector r which describe ultimately the translation in a lattice and crystal if you go from one point to another point in any particular direction you can find this that after a specific translation you get a point having same environment okay so three dimension is ultimately filled up with this translation translate of this unit cell or translate of this lattice point so any arbitrary point can be uh, found in a periodic manner with the help of this translation vector so lattice translation is a very well known concept for to get the lattice uh, vector now if you want to go or if you want to choose any arbitrary direction along this an imaginary direction say for example r prime so r prime plus this some vectors which must be a combination of a b c ultimately gives me this r so any arbitrary direction if we you if we want to go in any arbitrary direction by choosing a specific value of u v and w you can move to your original point where you want to get so translation is a kind of uh, uh, operation that ultimately prevails or that ultimately uh, uh, basic property of a crystal system so I can define a translation operation which is a fundamental concept of a crystal system so this translation uh, I should uh, mention another point that if you choose a unit cell where each of this corner contains a single atom then the value of this u v and w for any kind of translation that will be obviously integer but if you choose any centered atom centered uh, crystal system maybe face centered maybe body centered you can get this u v in a fractional form either half one third in this uh, respect so depending on the primitive or non primitive nature of crystal this UVW becomes different right now what is a right hand system a uh, crystal unit cell is a right hand system I can say it earlier if you choose this hand go from X to Y you get said in this direction so as if if you put your right hand in this form this gives me the right hand system so 
this right hand system if you choose any three arbitrary vector along three arbitrary direction this here in this picture you can get the ABC and alpha beta gamma these are basically lattice parameters okay and this parallel pipe lattice diagram lattice constant are basically the length and the angles now depending on the orientation or as I mentioned earlier in three-dimensional space you can get seven crystal system though one is obviously cubic where all the sides all the edges having same length and the angles are 90 degree to each other another is tetragonal where this A and B are same but C is different but all the faces have 90 degree orthorhombic where A nautical to B nautical to C but these angles are 90 degree now monoclinic where beta is nautical to 90 degree a nautical to b nautical to c triclinic where no such relation between a b c is possible a nautical to b a nautical to c alpha nautical to beta nautical to gamma and they are obviously nautical to 90 degree and another case is rhombohedral where these three edges are same but alpha is nautical to 90 degree and another is hexagonal a b are same but c is different and this angle is 120 degree so gamma is 120 uh, beta is 120 degree so these are uh, uh, basically some uh, where this hexagonal system gamma equal to 120 degree so these are the seven crystal system we can found find in three dimensional case now with this seven crystal system these are basically the seven unique crystal system which I can found uh, I can find in this uh, for three dimensional space and these are some specific relations where angles are defined and relation between a b and c it is cell edges and these are the volume so most general volume is a b c root over these things now put the specific form of alpha beta and gamma you can find this the other rules exist and if you use those unit cell which is simple base centered all face centered and body centered you can find 14 number of brevis lattice they are grouped into seven crystal system so what are that for a cubic system you can put each atom at the corner of a cube what you get a simple cubic structure now put some atom in addition to this corner at all faces at the center of all faces you can find the face centered cubic structure and if you put a central atom here you get a body centered cubic now for tri tetragonal system this is the simple tetragonal this is again body centered for hexagonal system there is only primitive cell so no other uh, type of previous lattice is present but for orthorhombic there exists simple orthorhombic body centered orthorhombic system between these two base this is base centered and all face centered orthorhombics but for rhomboedral this is primitive cell for monoclinic this is simple monoclinic 
an obviously base centered monoclinic system and for triclinic system there is no such relation between a b and c as i can mentioned earlier so this is the triclinic so total 14 number of brevis that is are found for three dimensional crystal system now what do you repeat in this crystal? what do you find in two dimensional unit cell <coughs> See, these are the lattice points. Okay. And you want to repeat something within this unit cell. So, if you put any operation here, this ultimately, this green element is a mirror image of this. So, if you put a mirror here, this you, you get this mirror image. So, this is the operation. So, this part is asymmetric part. There is no symmetry in this system. But if you choose whole system, there you get asymmetry. If you move these things 180 degree, or rotate these things 180 degree, you can again get the same thing. So, there must be some uh, a relation of the elements that are present in the unit cell whose repetition ultimately form the unit cell look at this picture this is a molecule and combination of this molecule or uh, gives me the unit cell so if you put this molecule in a unit cell this is origin this is a this is b this is c and you put this molecule in some points you get ultimately this unit cell and the repetition of this unit cell ultimately gives me the total crystal structure now do you know the choice of unit cell is unique or not or I should say that if you choose a unit cell, is it same all the time? For a point lattice, you choose these lattice points. Okay. But the fact is that the choice is not always the same. Now, this ABC, I have taken some origin, some ABC, some corners. Okay. Now, the unit cell of a crystal defines the lattice point. And you repeat the system in a regular through translation of three dimensional, and ultimately, this creates a crystal system. The vector which defines the unit cell is called the crystallographic axis of the cell. Okay. Now, choose this lattice or repetition of the unit cell. You can choose another one unit cell in this form ABCD. So, ultimately, number of lattice point for per cell is one fourth cross four plus one because this is the central atom so this point is a contribute one for this unit cell but each of this corner is a part of another where this cell this cell and this cell so there exist another three cells this point is a part of another this three cells so ultimately one fourth contribution comes from this single point so one fourth cross four plus one so two so total number of atom per unit cell is two so this is non-primitive now if you choose a prime b prime
now the lattice point for a prime this a prime b prime c prime c d or a prime b prime a b this part if you choose this as a unit cell you can get only one atom per unit cell so this is primitive cell now if you choose this efgh you get another set of choice again you can get a non primitive cell with two atoms per unit cell now if you choose this this is another choice you can again get one cell per unit but the corner does not contain any other cell so though this is a primitive unit cell but the choice is not correct so ultimately i can say that this choice of a unit cell is not unique you can vary the choice so up to this thank you in my next class i will come to the crystal structure part